Welcome back, my friends. Today we are shooting this new to me Howa 1500 in 223 Remington. We've got a target set up at 100 yards. I've got the chronograph out, and we're just getting sighted in with some 55 grain full metal jackets and a random powder charge I picked. We're not going for uh, super accuracy here. We're just trying to get zeroed and on the paper, so let's get at it. So here we are at 100 yards and we're just getting sighted in here with our 55 grain full metal jacket. We started here and I started walking them in. I got a few in the same hole. I gave it a couple more clicks and now we're somewhere right in here. I've given the gun time to cool down. So we're gonna come back, try these again, see how those group. And then we'll move on to our next project once we're zeroed in. All right, so I think those were my last five shots. I took about an hour or two in between and came back, so I was just working on getting the scope focused in and working on getting my hold right, but we're obviously in the right ballpark, so we're gonna back out to 200 yards and see what that looks like. All right, we've got our target hung up at 200 yards. Okay, we are back at the bench and we're gonna try to go out to 200 yards there and we will see how that works out for us. 20. It's kind of hard to see what we did from down here. So let's uh, take a drive and check it out and see what we did at 200 yards So this was seven shots the last seven I had after just playing around at 100 doing the chronograph and whatnot But here we have uh, I would say roughly a two inch spread at 200 yards So I want to see if we can get that tightened up with an actual load development All right, so we just got zeroed at 100 and we just shot a little bit at 200. Here's our uh, load data up here our average velocity for five shots on the chronograph was 3,002 feet per second, extreme spread of 49, and standard deviation of 18. And here's a look at our brass. You can see this is obviously a very light load, very rounded primers, no cratering, nothing exciting. Again, at 200, I would say that's about two to two and a half inches, which is, you know, pretty fair for a random charge we just picked. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with our uh, just cider load we came up with. Anyways, we'll work on fine tuning that. We can at least push it by another grain or so before we find any kind of pressures. And CFE223 is known for getting some pretty good velocities. And I've got a 20 inch barrel, so we should be able to push it a lot hotter than that. Anyways, I'm pretty excited. If you enjoy this sort of content, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also support me over at patreon.com slash dummy round. Anyways, stay tuned for more and we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.